Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Life in Five. Today is, is it Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday, yes. September, September 6th. <laughs> I, I gotta look before we do this. We are still in Lima. We're heading out from our hotel, the Double Hilton Double Tree El Prado. Had a good breakfast. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go out and uh, I don't know, see what we can find. We've seen a lot of great things, and yeah. uh, I don't know what we're gonna see today. Let's so go we'll explore. Just see what, what finds us. We've made our way to the Parc de Amour. <laughs> the Park of Love. <laughs> Looks like all the locked real estate of love is taken. The Parc de Amour, or Park of Love, is on a bluff overlooking the ocean. It's a very romantic park in the evening and a great place to see the sunset for couples. It's very romantic. It has a feeling of Park Güell in Barcelona, Spain. Not only do the curves of the wall serve as an interesting looking barrier of protection, they can provide a comfortable place to rest. You can see the people, I guess in love, I don't know. <laughs> There's probably some story behind it, but I couldn't understand it if there was. So. Uh, but it's a nice place on the yeah, bluff and it's with the, uh, you know, the Park Güell feel from Barcelona mm -hmm. and then the ocean in the background. So I guess we have to kiss. Mm. Okay. Ah, mi amor. <laughs> So the pathway on the bluff continues down from the Park de la Mar. There's little parks along the way. That's one thing I think I've been really surprised with about Lima is there's so many parks that are well manicured and beautiful. I bought this from a street vendor. Not really sure what it was. Looks like it could be some sort of fruit or caramel. Take a look. And Tanya got some sort of hot dog thing. Let <laughs> me fit this in here. Mmm, how good. How's your hot dog thing? It's a hot dog thing. Is it cold? It is cold. A cold hot dog thing. Yeah. That sounds yummy. In the afternoon, we headed over to the Plaza de Armas and the downtown sites. The plaza and many areas surrounding it were closed due to protesting of the government's policies. We found a local guide to take us to see many sites downtown, including the convent of Santo Domingo. We went in the church and saw the altars there. Two of the important saints to this church were Saint Martin de Porres and Santa Rosa of Lima. These altars are dedicated to them. The one on the left is to St. Martin de Porres. And here you can see a relic just below his statue, which is his skull. On the right is Santa Rosa of Lima. And again, you can see the same relic here. Her skull is on display. Like many of the Catholic churches we've toured in Europe, the architecture here is stunning. You can see in the cloister, the wonderful garden. Not only did the convent have places of worship, it also had places of learning. Education was very important. And you can see the ornate detail on this podium. One of the interesting sites that we got to see was the crypt within the convent went down this narrow stairwell and there was a small porthole where you could look in there. As I mentioned earlier, the artwork compared to many of the great churches we've visited and the library was second to none. They had many books and manuscripts that were hundreds of years old and it was incredible to see. The next place our guide showed us 
was the river overlooking the old town of Rima. He said this area was not safe to go for tourists, however, but he did show us the river, and during the rain season, this fills in. He then took us to see some other churches and important historic sites along the way. And one thing that is very important in Lima for the architecture are the balconies. Next, our guide took us to a local market. I love going to places like this when I travel because you can see what the people there that live there eat, where they shop, and get a true feel of what it's like to live in Lima by looking at the produce and just the day-to-day -day lives of people there. They also bought a rice pudding style treat from another street vendor. So how is it? You like it? What's it taste like? You don't know? As our time with our guide Luis was winding down, he took us by the parliament and then we made our way over to one last site, the Church of San Francisco. Here he showed us the crypt. You could see through the floor grates. One last look at the Plaza de Armas, and then we were off to our last destination of the day, located next to the soccer stadium. At the Exposition Park, there is a small area that is reserved for the Circuito Magico del Agua. There's a fountain park, and they have all types of different fountains on display, and it was really a highlight. So we're at the tunnel fountain. We're gonna walk through and see if we can not get soaking feet. Okay, I'm in the tunnel fountain. I'm worried I'm going to get wet. I don't have other shoes, so that will be bad. And I feel that looking at the video, it's gonna collapse on me. All right, so I think that is going to do it for today. It's been a full day in Lima, lots of great things, and a uh, great way to cap it off with the magic water fountains, or yeah. whatever they call it. So, <laughs> Circuito de Magico Agua, I think. <laughs> so, did you have fun? Yes. Yeah, good. Um, tomorrow is our last day in Lima. We take a flight tomorrow night to go to Cusco, and then on to Machu Picchu. So, we'll see what we find, and, uh, Thanks for watching Jason's Life in Five. Bye.